Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So we are still in the very end of fall. If you remember correctly, we uh, I did have a little bit of a discussion uh, about the uh, plan for what we're going to do next. And look at this, we did I did manage to finish seeding uh, all of the, I believe it's wheat. So we've got all that taken care of. Do I have any? No, we've got no smushed birds or um, rabbits or anything. You know what? Let's let's do a, a little bit of busy work while we uh, while I tell you what the plan is. It's not. You know, I'm not going to do a huge amount of busy work. Well, we only have a little bit of meat. Ooh, I do have to start worrying about that, don't I? We've got a bunch of roasted meat, so we're in we're in good, reasonably good shape. Uh, my dude, he pretty well. Let's see, he's at 21 pounds. Uh, he's pretty well uh, subsisting on carrots right now. Carrots are fine. I can live on carrots. I like carrots. Carrots are good for you. Um, let's see. Let's grab maybe another 10 more. I don't really need a lot. I just need enough here. Let's just, you know what? Let's get our, let's get our food sorted out, uh, for the, just enough that it'll get us through the rest of the today because we really only need to survive until, um, the, 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 the switch over from this season. So let's grab maybe, I don't know. A few more just maybe just a bit all right and then i'll grab a drink on the way now somebody made a suggestion they said well you know um your your uh potential wife is she has farming abilities um let's take a look at that first of all and ah uh, yes three she's got a three in farming but How if we were let me talk to her for a second um if we take uh, have you heard anything interesting recently uh, small talk. Let's go to small talk and say, could you tell me something about your skills? And this is where you, she has an opportunity or your, your, your villager has an opportunity to, to say, this is what I'd like to do. Uh, I fancy simple hard work. It gets my blood flowing and my muscles pumping. I can even work with my bare hands if needed. So she can really do any form of physical activity. Um, and then what else is it? Uh, what's on your mind? Does anything give you a hard time? Uh, uh, it, Oh, I wouldn't say I appreciate chasing prey. It's a waste of time. I wish I could work somewhere closer to my home. So she basically says, she, I don't want to be a hunter. <laughs> Which, Goodbye. if you remember correctly, we had her uh, working as a hunter when she first started. And yeah, um, she wasn't very happy. And if we take a look right now, uh, she is at 6% and holding. And so she's reasonably like a little bit above average. I believe zero is medio is like is like that's middle ground standard, and then we also have uh, Metarica here, and she can do she's a two in farming, uh, but she's more of a crafts person, which is why I have her making buckets, and I don't know how she's doing with the bucket manufacturing situation right now. Um, I would like I, sh I let's find out. Um, I can never remember where buckets are. Actually, do, do I not? I don't think I, well, here. Yeah. Is it, is it under tools? No. Do I not have any buckets in here? She's not made any buckets yet, has she? <laughs> she hasn't. Oh, my goodness. Well, she needs, uh, if I remember correctly, she needs planks to make buckets. There's 13 of them. Now, we can actually look at her progress, so we can go to... Uh, buildings and then we go to production we go to workshop we take a look at it and we take a look at the current tasks she's currently working on making a bucket and uh, we only have her on 20 percent that so let's you know what let's just drop this down to z is there an easier way to do this uh, decrease work increase work oh my goodness okay we're gonna just do it this way because it's it's super painful, but I'm going to make it so that she's doing 100% bucket manufacturing. And I'll have her do that till the end of this uh, season. And then I'm going to try to come up with something else for her to do. Because uh, making buckets and stuff like that, it's really not uh, very productive. And there's not really many other things in this, in the, in the, in the, uh, in here that really I need at this moment. So I'm just going to, let's get her doing buckets 100%, just so that we can get a little supply of buckets for when we have the well, and we can uh, supply the peoples with their uh, drinking water. So this is temporary. We're just going to get her to work on buckets for now. All right. Um, total per day, five. She can make five buckets a day. Holy moly. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, and also under skills, 
it looks like I did uh, get some farming stuff happening here. I have one skill point I can spend. Um, now, we have the first level. I can get something from the second level, which is uh, Horsey and Scythe. Uh, let's see, Village Whistleblower. So, uh, Whistling will summon, summon my mount. I don't need that yet. And 10% less stamina consumption during farming activities. It's very tempting, but um, I'm going to hold off on that. Careful Farmer. Durability. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for additional crops because I think that's pretty useful right now. I've maxed out on my farming knowledge, so this is a good thing to uh, move on to. And there we go. So I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. Um, now, I don't really have much to worry about between now and the end of the year. So what I'm going to do, and, and in the winter here, let's just, you know what, I'm going to get... Let's get going on what, what the plan is. The plan is we are going to go up to the mine and we are going to get copper before the end of the day. And then we'll you, automatically transport back home at the end of the, uh, at the season switchover. What am I going to need? I am going to need picks. I'm going to need stone pickaxes. Uh, for stone pickaxes, I'm going to need logs and stones. And what we could do, well, we have a choice. Um... You know, we could manufacture them on the, uh, while we're up there because, quite frankly, there's lots of trees and, and probably lots of rocks up there as well. So I'm not going to worry about that. Now, if we take a look at where we want to go, we want to go basically between the two Ranicas. Uh, I believe this is the specific location. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to follow this river up because uh, I kind of liked it. And somebody said there might be some other things on there. I don't know if I'll find them, but... Uh, I won't find them if I don't try. And so that's my plan. And first we're going to get some water. So the overarching plan is, and we'll just talk about it while we're traveling, uh, mine copper. Now, do I, can I use copper yet? No, I cannot use any copper at this time. But it would be nice to have a, bit, a little bit of a supply of it uh, while, you know, I've got, I've got like half a day that I can kill. And it would be nice to get a bit of a supply of copper for when that time comes, right? So that's that's the thinking. Am I still on my way? Okay. Oh, goodness gracious, dude. I really do need to get your stamina up to speed because you're just a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, in the huffly puffly kind of state. Um, now, you know what? We could grab a few rocks because we're going to need them. And there's like a whole bunch of them right here. Uh, I do find that you get there's a lot of rocks along riversides, which makes sense because, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that water, rocks, it all kind of goes together. The water uncovers the rocks. Or, or actually, uh, oh, we need a pickaxe to harvest that rock. That's, the, that's an actual, yeah, that's an actual, uh, whatchamacallit. But you're not. We can grab, oh, sticks? Sure. Okay, and then we can get the stones. And then you're an actual rock. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, now, where are we? Oh, yeah, let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving. Now, somebody said uh, there might be something around, or uh, maybe not here, but uh, somewhere else. Now, we already harvested this one, but uh, I guess I'm just, you know, I, I don't really, uh, there's a bag, I think. I don't know where it is, though. Um, so we're not going to worry about it. If I see it, great. If I don't, I'm not going to, you know, eventually we'll find it. Uh, I'm not too, too concerned. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and get copper, just because copper is uh, uh, useful later. It's going to be great for making some tools. And uh, you know what? Uh, putting a little copper in the bank is not going to hurt. We've got a bit of time to do it. Is there anything here at the little headwaters? This is like a spring, I guess. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And, oh, that's right. We had uh, bandits over there. Okay, so we're going to need logs in order to be able to do our mining. Uh, I do have... Oh, I, I, I hope I do. I'm pretty sure I have torches. Yeah, I have a, I have a few torches on me. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to use the torches, but I do have them. All right, let's cut down a tree. This is going to get us... Uh, well, we'll make a few axes. There we go. And duka. And duka. Okay, one two, three, four, right? And then um, let's make a couple more. I think these guys are like two. 
Uh, one suggestion somebody had was to make six. I'm not going to have enough time to use all six because we don't really have. That's for like a, a full full sweep of the of the cave. Uh, I don't think we're going to have. Oh, it's already done. Oh my goodness. I don't think we're going to have enough time for that, but this is just going to be a best effort. Okay, stone pickaxes. We're going to make three. What am I short on? Probably stones. Yeah, I'm going to guess stones. So let's um, maybe take a look around and see if there's any more stones. Uh, I w as I say, I wouldn't mind having... No, no, that's not a stone. That's a mushroom. I don't think mushrooms make good, good pickaxes. But there's got to be rocks around here somewhere. Really? No rocks? You would think that around a mine, on the side of a hill, there would be stones. Maybe down towards the water. Um, actually, you know what we could do? We could use our second sight. Oh, there. This way. There we go. We've got a few stones here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better. This is better. Yeah, there we go. Yep, rivers. Like, down by creeks and stuff like that. They really, It really is a great place to get, uh, get stones. You see, there's some... There's one there, and one there, and one there, and there. We oh, no, no, not the red pine mushroom. I want the stone. And then let's just, I'm not going to, as I say, I'm not going to need all of these pickaxes, but I wouldn't mind having them. And we are running out of daylight, so uh, this is just a more of a proof of concept than anything else. Uh, I can make one. Okay. And, you know, I can just dump whatever, you know, we can dump some pickaxes at the, uh, at the mine. And, uh, I hope they don't disappear. I don't think they will. Um, if they do, that's fine. Pickaxes are super cheap. Did I just make axes or pickaxes? I have five. Okay. So we're going to put you in slot seven. There we go. Well, no, that was... Oh, you know, I do that all the time. Uh, slot seven. So in some games, you hover over things, and then you hit a key, and that does the thing. But in this game, you actually have to click. And I, have, I make a mistake all the time where I'll hover over something and think that I'm operating on that thing, but I need to click on it to actually, man, actually do it. Now let's get a torch going and let's get in here and take a look. Now, there's generally what I could do is, and I think I'm going to do it, is I'm going to make a campfire. Um, let's do, actually, no. Let's do, uh, let's do, hang on a minute, uh, decorative, what do I need to make? Oh, I don't have that unlocked. So we're going to make a campfire, and I'm going to put it, like, just in here. And it just gives me a little bit of light in this immediate area, then I can maybe put my torch away, and I've got a little bit of light, uh, and it, it sort of helps. I don't really like, oh, wait a minute, what was my pickaxe, seven? One, oh my goodness, stone axe is one. Pickaxe is seven. All right, there we go. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Now, what we're interested in is copper. Oh my God, I have to actually do multiple clicks. Okay. What we're interested in is copper. Uh, we got copper and stones. Now, I am going to dump the stones here, but for now... Um, let's just not do that yet. Let, let's wait till we get overburdened. And then we'll deal with it. But I want to keep the copper, and I'll just dump the stones here. Uh, that, it's not a big deal. But we got, yeah, seven stones and five copper. I'm carrying too much. Okay. And I'm a little slow. So then what I'll do is I'll come over here near the campfire, and I'll go into the building stuff, and I'll do... Uh, uh, XEF, that'll drop all the stone. And actually what I could do is I go to the other side, to the left hand side here, and just so, just for completeness, I'll drop all the cop uh, copper. Now I'm going to have to make sure that I have that in my inventory. Uh, the tin, let's not worry about tin right now. Salt, no, yeah, we don't care about you, salt. Um, let's find more copper. That is tin. That's copper right there, but is there any more right in close here? I seem to remember seeing some, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, okay, let's just, let's do this. Let's get this one here. It's near the, uh... Ah, yeah, you know what? I can have it out. There we go, copper. 
And we've got you. Okay. And then let's see. That is tin. Yeah, the problem with the, the torch is it, it kind of, when you're up close to it, it, it basically, uh, oh, there you go. That, that solves the torch problem. I've got more, but that's okay. Um, uh, we're going to overburden ourselves again. Let's just do the uh, uh, XEF and uh, XEF. Am I being uh, very efficient? Not really, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's go. I'm going to do the left hand rule. Normally I do right hand rule. Uh, we're going to just keep going left. As long as you're consistent, that's all that, 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 that that's important. And if we if we always turn, like if we all if we keep to the left to the left to the left all the way around, uh, you'll you'll find your way out uh, without any problems. Do 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 do. For now, it's really easy. We're pretty close to the to the main. Uh, but I do want to just go left left, and it's easy. Yeah, look at that. It's so much easier when there's no torch. There goes one pickaxe. When there's no torch, you can see the the orange glow of the copper. Okay, but... Oh, there's some right there. Um... Oh, man, I'm gonna make myself super slow when I do this, but we're just gonna do it anyways. We've got a bit of time. We're not too bad. Oh, I'm a little slow. But I do want to get back. And I, I, I could just dump the stone anywhere. Uh, I mean, I could, but... At some point in the future, this... The stone is gonna be useful. It'll be nice to have. And, uh, you know... So there's, 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 oh, no, not you. Uh, XEF, there we go. And uh, XEF. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, you're tin. Yeah. Uh, tin, tin. Uh, now, if we need tin, we can always come back and get it. But I think um, copper is like a super useful in the early game. It's, uh, like, you know, one of the first things you can, uh, actually, uh, work with, apparently. Uh, back in, back in the old days, in the early days of medieval dynasty, uh, we used to, we used to use, we did everything in iron. Yeah, you went straight to iron, and then eventually they did introduce, uh, like, alternative metals like copper and tin and all of that, and bronze, which is, uh, of course, a, you know, a, uh, an alloy. Whoa, buddy. I'm carrying too much. Okay, well. What time is it? We got a bit of time. We're still good. We're still good. Let's get let's get the let's get up to the front here. There's our campfire. It does also the campfire does kind of help uh, tell us what direction to go when it's kind of all dark like this. And like I say, am I being 100% uh, efficient in how I'm doing this? No. I could, you know, I could, there's ways you can min-max this whole thing. And, uh, you know, like I could just, when I when I go through here, I could uh, dump stone every time I, I, I harvested something and only take the copper, which would double the length of time that I would, I would spend actually harvesting materials. Um, sure, but... I'm only taking like a just the part of the last day of the of a season to do this, and I, you know, I'm not too concerned about efficiency. Just want to get a nice, nice little supply of copper. And if we can have a bunch of uh, the stone that we gather on us, then that would be kind of handy too. So if we can have both, oh, there's another pickaxe gone. My dude's all exhausted, and he's gonna overburden. There he goes. He, he's overburdened. You know what? Let's just get one more. I'm gonna get greedy. Now this time, come on, come on. Push through the pain. That's it, buddy. This time we're gonna actually keep going, and we're gonna follow the left-hand rule again, and we should pop out because we're almost done. This are we almost done? We are almost done this uh, this cave. God, oh, and look at that. We still have time. There's like daylight out there. Yeah, we might be able to uh, do the uh, all the copper. There we go. And then we go here. And then we go uh, XEF. Okay, now. 
Oh yeah, I need to yeah. Uh torch. Let's do you in uh equip you and there we go. Let's let's do the right hand rule now. And go this way. Actually, you know what? Put that away. I can't I can't determine where the copper is. It's it's too hard when the when you're using a torch. Everything's orange. Copper's orange. <laughs> it doesn't help. There we go. We got you. Let's get you. Still got a bit of time. Now what we might do, if we get, uh, if we don't want to, you know... Uh... There's a point. There's a... That's tin. Yeah, it's, when it's dark outside, it makes it dark in the cave as well. There is a point where we might just... Yeah, we might just have all of the copper. That's tin. Uh, oh, there's a copper deposit. And, uh, but we're still not end of the day. We can always just, uh, use the campfire to sleep through to the next season, I think. Not entirely sure. Uh, and, of course, I'm probably missing some... I probably am missing a copper deposit somewhere. Alright, we're gonna just, uh... Just keep going. But I do want to make sure that I have as much on me as possible when time flips over to the next season so let's just uh yeah let's get let's get up to the front which is up here I believe. there's my campfire am i lost am i lost oh you can't get lost but uh i might be uh turned around uh, but the problem is that i don't want to waste time Uh, I might be making a mistake here. Let's just do this right. Let's just follow the... Do the... Uh, keep. There it is. There it is. There it is. We've still got a bit of time. We're in reason, reasonably good shape. Let's get it so we can, we can look at the stones. We can look at the copper. Let's stand right in the campfire. And let's uh, grab you, 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 you. And then we can grab you, 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 and you. Got everything. And uh, let's um, sleep till the next season. Right onto the fire. Oh, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> oh, oh. A thief was caught red-handed whilst trying to steal your resources. He tries to make excuses and convince you that he did this because of poverty. Now it is up to you to decide what to do. Oh, my goodness. Um... I can choose any of the following three. Cut his hands off. I'm not going to do that. Order someone else to cut his hands off. That is basically the same thing. Just not having the stomach to do it yourself. And I'm just going to let him go and banish him. Just tell him to never come back. Um, and then if we ever see him again, then we'll cut his hands off. How's that sound? I think that's good. Uh, we're going to just go with three. Uh, so we, got, we lost 5% uh, of our crafted items from uh, storage. That's fine. That's fine. And here we are, we're back home, and I can't move because, well, it is, you know, <laughs> we're, uh, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got 244 kilograms of stuff on me. Um, we're just going to dump the ore, the copper, and we're going to dump the stones. But the nice thing is, look at that, we've got a nice little pile of stone and copper in our, our base right now. And it is winter. Oh, do I have my uh, winter clothing? Where did I, did I put it? Oh, I have my fur hood. Um, I think I'll put my fur hood on. Fur hood. No, that actually didn't do what I thought it did. Here, let's do this. And then once we're, uh, close that up and then we'll put the fur hood on. And now we just have the fur hood and we should be good because I mean, I am wearing like gloves and boots and stuff like that. And uh, I should be reasonably in, in good, reasonable shape here. Um, what is my temperature at? It's a little low in the green. We're going to keep an eye on that. All right. Let's go. Oh. Look, look at how lovely winter is. <gasps> Did, do I have... Um, oh, right. So in winter, nothing is harvested, but we can plant carrots. And look at that. We Our wheat field is growing, and we're going to harvest that in uh, summer, I think. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, summer. We'll harvest it in summer. 
And uh, but we we can plant some carrots in the winter. So let's find out. Oh hey, birds. A squished bird. Oh yeah, tenderized, soft. Oh, we got a new level in hunting. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. Now let's see what the bucket situation. We have two buckets. Oh, she did such a good job. And uh, how many carrot seeds do we have? We have 37. I don't know if I want to plant all 37 carrot seeds, though. Um, how many pickaxes do I have on me, by the way? Uh, we could probably... You know what? I don't really use pickaxes normally. So I'm just going to transfer the pickaxes into uh, storage. And just, yeah, do that. Everything else... Um, this hoe is almost broken. Eh, I'll use it up. Uh, what else? We've got the longbow. We've got a couple of buckets. And that's it. And then, so logs are good. What's firewood at? Firewood 71. So we've got um, heating, heat fuel, heating fuel for the, for the village. We're good on that front. Uh, sticks are also gathered. And we have 41, which is reasonable and okay. All right. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, though, is I am going to have a drink, which I don't really need, but that's okay. But we are going to fill up our buckets. Oh, skills. Oh, I got stuff for hunting. Oh. M faster movement while, while sneaking. So we've got, um, we've got uh, the second level stuff. We've got footprints and, and sneaky guy. So there's the sneaky guy there and tracker. So we can track animals in inspector mode. I am. I really would like to get that, but I think I need to crank up my uh, my accrual of hunting knowledge first, right? And I'm, it's super tempting, but we're gonna do this. Why? Because this give this acceler this gives us more experience from whatever it is that we do in hunting, and it'll help us in the long run. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. Buck. Oh. No, did I not do it? I didn't do it. Um, oh, I have one more. Okay, well, there we go. That was two. So now we've got the... Um, we've maxed out on hunting knowledge. So now the next time we upgrade hunting, and we're going to do that, you know, we're going to get more experience, we'll be able to pick one of the uh, more, like, uh, the, the uh, tracker. I, I, wanna, I want tracker. Some of these others are good, though. Less noise, um, steadier aim. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go back in the inventory, and uh, bucket is under tools, of course, and then we could put that into slot seven. And somebody told me that it automatically, if we go here and we uh, fill the bucket, that it automatically replaces slot seven with my next empty bucket. I don't have to do anything, so there we go. Excellent, and we can go and put that in the uh, food storage. Uh, we should probably double check to see what the water supply is in general. But I don't have a lot of people. Yeah, see, we're still fine. I've got two two buckets here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to convert. Um, here, let's put the meat in there too. Uh, is it under food? It is. Buckets. There we go. Okay. Do I have any rot? First of all, I'm gonna need rot. Let's do uh we're gonna need fertilizer. Let's do a rot check. Grab the right hand side. 37. That is not a lot of rot, but um it's gonna be it's something. Do I have any did I have any rot on me? If we go and take a look at my inventory. Just that 37. Oh! Hi, Medrika. How you doing? Whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. And, oh, hello, Baldwina. Oh, why doesn't she have lovely winter clothing? Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Yeah, I didn't put anything in here. All right. So we are going to have to... I want to... Let's get the... Um, let's get the planting taken care of right away. And so... Uh, how much fertilizer am I going to need? Well, first of all, let's convert the rot. Let's do that right now. Let's get that done, and then I don't have to carry it around with me. Um, 
we're going to make uh, fertilizer three. It's not a lot, but we're going to make, we're going to get three fertilizer out of that. Okay. And then I'm going to just put all the rotten fertilizer in, uh, in here. So we have three and the rot, which is, is it food? Oh, it is. It's classified as food. Well, I guess, I mean, technically it could eat it if you were desperate. All right. Let's take a look at the fields. Um, well, maybe we'll just pick one field and we have a field of 15. The carrots will, okay, here's the thing. Carrots, I can plant them in the winter, but it takes two seasons. So it's going to occupy two, the, the, whatever fields I pick, it's going to occupy them for the entirety of, uh, like I'm going to, I'm not going to have them for spring and spring's my big season. So I think what I'm going to do is because of that, I'm only going to plant one field of carrots. We can plant carrots again in the spring, by the way. So yeah, we just want to have a few. So let's go into town and, oh, you know what? Before we, oh no, hang on. 3% filth. Good enough. Uh, yeah, we're good. It's good enough. Let's go and let's have a chat. Baldwina. How is life treating you? It's good. How about you? We're going to, uh, how, no, we're not, uh, how are you doing? Beautiful. Yeah. We're not going to do that again. I, I just thought it's the last time I thought, okay, that's a little forward, but what, what happened? So, um, she, I don't think she's a singer. Have you ever been stung by a bee? When you do, remember to pull that st the sting first, then cut an onion in half, rub it in the wound. Uh, mostly hard, but the venom can be dangerous in some cases. Okay, let's try it. Um, plus seven. That's not bad. Thank you for the trick. Seems like good advice. Well, I like giving you uh, people or you. Finest dress. She's not worried about dress. Um... Do you ever wish to be unintelligent, simple as possible, to have no worries, to never trouble by thoughts, just live in the eternal sunshine of the spotless mind? Um, it might sound strange, but I've heard that soaking clothes in urine makes them easier to wash. Plus three. I thought that was common knowledge. Oh, ho, ho, she's smart. Okay, no, no, I didn't know that, so... Um, uh, I once heard that the king's castle is a real maze. Dozens of hidden doors and secret passages. That sounds amazingly surreal. Yeah. In my home, the best remedy for a common cold was always a broth made with chicken bones and herbs. How about you? Uh, three. Oh, I use this method as well, but next time maybe you should try an onion syrup. It can work wonders. Okay, so I think she's had uh, enough of my speech. Uh, but we're up to 58% and uh, uh, Have a good day. I was going to say infection. You too! But uh, affection would be the uh, right... Oh, wait a minute. Do I have something I want to do? I do. Okay, let's go. We're going to go into town, but before we go into town, we're going to stop off and... Uh, well, you know what? Maybe we'll do that on the way back. Yeah, we'll do it on the way back. We're going to dig up some clay. Uh, apparently... And let me show you in uh, skills under not crafting uh, excavation extraction there is something ah 5% chance to find extra items while digging in clay pits and the thing is that uh, somebody mentioned I saw that and I thought well that's interesting um, so we're gonna we're gonna dig up clay pits when we come on, on our way back through. I, I thought that was interesting because uh, they said that you can find trinkets for 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 wooing. Wooing trink trinkets. How much money do I have? 2175. Okay. Uh, it, I thought that was kind of cool. I could actually um, find some stuff in the uh, when digging in the clay. So we might just do that. Just so that, uh, just for interest's sake, just to see what, what happens. Uh, and the other thing, of course, is I do want to check. Uh, Malwina is, whoa, all ones and a two. Yeah, we're not going to, we're not interested in you. Griselda, uh, you are one, two, one, two, two, three. So you, you could do crafting. Griselda's a good crafter. And Oswalda, one, 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 two, two. 
Wow. So n nobody here is a three except for Griselda in crafting. Um, well, I might have to put my wife, to, or future wife, I should say, to work. Meluba. Um, I might have to put my future wife to work I as a, uh, um, whatchamacallit, uh, as a farmer. Um, and then find somebody else to do whatever it is that I'm going to build next. <laughs> How can I help you? Oh, well, hello, uh, Sobamir. Um, although I think extraction would be good. I need someone who can do extraction. Okay, show me your wares. My wares never disappoint. I believe you. All right, that's, uh, if we were to get all of his manure, uh, oh, which we did, it's 213 coin, which is not a huge amount, and it'll cover us. And I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Now, what's my weight at? 45, 43? All right, we're good. Thank you, Sobamir. Oh, good grief. Mind your manners. Okay. We could actually talk to... Uh, oh, no, that's Alwyn. Um, oh, how are your practices going? Uh, I, <laughs> I bet I can beat you now. Oh, how confident. All right, I'll take that bet. How much? Uh, for 100 coins, we each have three shots. The one who gets more points wins. You take it? Um, you know what? Sure. Uh, let's get started. Here's uh, 100 coins. I got 64 points. Now it's your turn. Watch and burn. Okay, so that means I have to go down to... <laughs> I think he's supposed to be hanging out down at the... Uh, down at the... the Boozum what's it's. So, uh, down at the, uh, the thing, he's actually, this, this conversation is supposed to happen down here. And, uh, I guess maybe I, I didn't do it, and so he went back to the farm life. And, uh, oops. Okay, so he got 64 points with three shots. Oh. Well, let's see if we can do that. Oh, I don't know if I can, Okay. Uh, oh, I'm not going to be able to beat him. 100%. 21.8. Nope. Nope. Oh, he beat me. <laughs> All right. So uh, I what I need to do is I need to, in order to beat him, and th that that's okay. So there's a little lesson for you. Don't do 20 meters. You have to do more than 20 meters because let me show you. Let me show you. Um, let's just do this for education purposes. Uh, more than 20 meters is in, in order to get a higher, uh, higher values, right? So if I come back here, okay. And then if I do a... But the problem is you got to practice these to figure out the drop. Oh man, the sway is terrible. Oh nope, 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 nope. Okay. <sighs> nope. Oh okay. I'm I'm. This is absolutely terrible. There we go. Twenty six. So you see, eighty five percent accurately here. Uh, it, accuracy. And 14, that's not as good, but they're 26. So if I got 20, three 26s in a row, um, I could have beaten them. That's that's how that that's just for education purposes. So if I had gone back further and I had shot reasonably well for three shots, uh, I would have beaten them. But I didn't, and so there we go. <laughs> it's all right. I don't mind letting Alwyn beat me. It's okay. I it's a, a few coins. And uh, it's good for his confidence. He gets really upset if uh, if if um, if you beat him. Uh, well, that didn't work out as planned. Uh, you could try again if you want. The condition remains the same. Maybe later. We'll do this another time. Uh, but there you go. That's the uh, the Alwyn thing. So essentially, what I can do, I'm gonna get the recurve bow and get used to the recurve bow, and then also I want to get rid of that sway. Uh, so I'm gonna need to do a bit more hunting and. Uh, and go from there. I think that's I think that's really what I need to do. All right. What we want to do is we want to stop off. 
and we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna do some clay digging. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry all that clay because I also have a load of manure on me. Uh, let's get that shovel. It's four. And do do do. And what do we get? We just got four clay. Oh come on! We gotta get little trinkets. Four clay. Do 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 do. Okay, we're just getting clay. That's fine. I guess the uh, the likelihood of finding the trinkets is not high. Just the clay. Okay. Uh, Alwyn's story. Talk to Alwyn. Yeah, we got to continue on that eventually. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get back to Alwyn. Uh, let's get you. By the way, having clay is not a bad thing, anyways. So, oh, hey, rabbit, how you doing? So this is not a waste of time. There we go. We got more clay. That's all right. We can deal with clay. Clay is good. We've got you and maybe over here. Wait a minute. Is there no more clay? Is that all of it? Oh, nope. There's one here. Just clay. All right. Fine. I guess that, uh... Oh, and one here. Oh, man. I missed... I missed... That's terrible. Just clay. Okay. All right, I think that's all of the uh, the little clay spots. I'm pretty sure. Did we miss any? No, I think we got them all. And I'm not overburdened, so that's quite wonderful. Here, put that put that away. Okay, and the bow too. Do 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 do. See, that's not far from where we live. That clay pit, so it's kind of handy to have. Kind of handy indeed. Now, what we could do is we could buy trinkets from the. Uh, there's a couple of sellers. Uh, I believe in Gustovia that you can buy some trinkets from and uh, so that can be kind of helpful oh. mm, bird and um, we're gonna need to make another rabbit trap all right do I need sticks for that I probably do uh, let's get our decorative bird cage uh, I mean rabbit cage um, I need five more sticks there's a bunch of them over here Oh, and I'm starting to get slow. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. Let's go back. Actually, let's put away the stuff that we don't need. Uh, I don't know if I should be carrying the shovel around with me, but I'll be honest with you. I kind of. Um, uh, oh, and I've got a log. Hmm, there you go. I kind of. Wait a minute. Right, I need the sticks. I kind of like having it because sometimes you just randomly have to dig holes. So why not? Okay, let's, um, decorative bird hap- or uh, rabbit habitat that they can't get out of. There you go! Ha ha ha! Do 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 do. All right, let's convert all of this manure into fertilizer. Uh, R-E-F. And we'll get the carrots taken care of, and then, um, after that, I want to build a house, and then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go on a little bit of a trip, and we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a, a farmer, or an excavator. I think I think that's what we need to do is find a farmer or an excavator. Although you know what I might do is I'm gonna re I'm gonna review my pro, uh, potential wives. Uh, skills again. I think she can do excavation work. In fact, that's what she's doing right now with the logging, if I remember correctly. All right, so we're just going to put all of that away. Oh, no, except for we're going to grab back 15 because that's what we're going to do. We're going to plant 15 carrots. There we go. And we'll go and get the 15 carrot seeds because I don't think I got them as well. And I think I might need to make a new hoe. So we might do that. So carrot seeds, let's grab 15. There we go. And do I have any hoes in here? Um, no. No, I don't have any copper hoes or... All right. But I do have... Um, logs 
And I'm just going to grab a few. And then I can't remember what I need to make them. Uh, oh, we can make... Uh, well, we can make one. That's good enough. That's good enough. That's what we... Uh, that's all we need. Okay. Nope. Oh, that was a mistake. All right. Let's put uh, logs back. And we'll keep the stick. Sticks are handy. Having a stick, I might have to poke something. I might have to poke something in the eye. All right, we'll just do this one right here because it's kind of untended. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, um, five. Do, do. Oh, no, fertilizer first. Oh, my goodness. Uh, bag. Tools? Did I use up my bag? Did I put it away? I must have put it away. That's silly. Oh, you know what? Somebody gave me a tip. We're going to try it out. Um, This one right here. Let's do this one. If we grab the hammer. Oh, man. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about this. And we go to destroy. And we destroy one wall. Oh, there we go. That becomes an entrance. And it doesn't impact the operation of your building. And now when you're on this side... And you want to come in, you could just come in right here. Pretty cool. Um, if I, now if I go to uh, building, and can I actually swing build mode? No. Uh, equip torch. Okay. It just, it, it would be just if I wanted to replace that wall. But there we go. We've got an impromptu back door on our uh, building. So that's kind of cool. Oh, ah, what am I doing? I, I needed a bag. So that's pretty handy. It's a good tip. Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you very much. That's so helpful. Now, I picked a wall that was uh, uh, didn't have anything on it. So I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't want to lose any of the features. Okay, bag. Let's use up the uh, this one first, and we'll go to seven. And let's go to uh, field, fertilizer. There we go. And, uh, all right, so, we're going to build a house. I'm going to build a house, and then I think what we'll do is we'll go, first we'll go to Borovo. Oh, no, no, no. Let's, we have to check uh, our, we have to check Baldwina's skill set and see if we can, uh, if Baldwina, maybe, I want to know what my options are. If I find a three in extraction, then, then that tells me I can put Baldwina to farming. And I could put the uh, the new hire to uh, gathering wood because that is super important. That's where you get your heating fuel. That's where you get planks, uh, sticks, all kinds of things. All right, and then we've got five. This is super quick though, so we'll just get this. Let's just get this done. There goes one O, and we're onto our new one. Excellent, excellent. Look at that. Good job, Rasimir. We'll make you uh, big and strong. Maybe get that cardio going. And I, I hope I don't. I don't know if this actually is a considered uh, a form of exercise, but I, I like to hope. Okay, we got the bag. We can go to carrot, carrot seeds, and go. Do do do. Now. In the spring, I'm going to have to make more fields. Yep, I'm going to have to make more fields. And we're going to have to source more fertilizer. So maybe while we're out and about, we'll, we'll buy um, manure so that we can, we can grow more stuff. I think that's probably, that's probably our best bet. Um, yeah. And maybe we could sell some... I think we're good on money. Let's just not worry about that right now. Uh, if we don't, the seeds will be here and we can sell them another time. Okay. Let's uh, put the bag away. Keep the knife. Um, we can put away the, the sickle. The arrows I want to keep. I don't have a lot. Ooh. Oh, let's grab um, feathers. Let's grab uh, just a bunch of them. Let's grab some sticks. How are we doing on sticks? 60? Okay. Let's grab uh, 42. And uh, planks, 6. 
What's firewood at? You got to keep a real close eye on firewood in winter. Uh, and then stones. I don't think we have stones in here, do we? We don't. Oh, we got seven. Let's, I can't remember what all the ingredients are for making arrows, but. I do want to make some more arrows. We can make 30 arrows. Okay. Uh, we could. Eh, we could maybe sell some arrows. That's actually not a. Yeah, we should, shouldn't we? Because we've got tons of. Yeah, we've got stones. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's um let's make some more arrows using some of the stones that we gathered from the mining operation. Um and while we're out and about uh on our little field trip, uh we can here, can I how much is that? Is it I'm carrying too much, okay. Uh let's take a look. 140 out of 65. I say that is too much, isn't it? Let's go uh let's see. Uh, X, E, no, not a full. Let's go to, let's drop, let's drop 90 kilograms. Okay, we could pick up 10 kilograms, uh, or we, we could drop, uh, uh, we could drop 80 kilograms. That's what I meant. Okay. 80 kilograms. That'll be fine. And we're 60 out of 65. Good enough. Good enough. I'll just put whatever I don't use into the storage. Do, do, do. Eventually, you, you're you not going to want to store rocks and, like, a lot of rocks and logs and stuff in your storage. Because the storage does get super full. Uh, e, and then let's do R, E. Oh. Oh, I, I, I'm short on sticks. Oh, that's okay. You know what? That's fine. That's, no. No. We need... We need to make this happen. Sticks, 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 sticks. We're in a forest. We've got plenty of sticks. Sticks, 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 sticks. Stone. Sticks, sticks, stone. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but they also make really nice arrows. Do, 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 do. And we can grab. Ooh, overburdened. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Where's that? You know what? No, let's. We're 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 delaying. I want to get over to Borovo. I want to go to Borovo. Okay. We can make thirty more. Perfect. Perfect. The uh, we're we're weaponizing the valley with our arrows. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you know it's it makes sense because we have uh we've we ran into trouble. We ran into, so we, th there's bandits about, and uh, I'm just doing my part to make sure that everybody's safe, and, uh, you know, and put the feathers back. We now have, let's go to the arrows, we now have 80 arrows, nice. <laughs> 80 arrows, perfect. Okay, let's go. Oh, before we go, let's get our, uh, let's wash up. I know we can travel through the, uh, the river and all of that sort of stuff, but I think I'm just going to avoid that. Actually, you know what? We really do need to go to Hornica one of these days. Let's go to Borovo first, though. Let's let's it it. We're almost into the night, and uh, I do want to. Oh. Let's see who's there. Let's see who. No. Oh man. Oh oh. I'm I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up something fierce. Okay. 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 You guys are not hanging out in front of your house. Not yet. It's uh, getting the evening. Oh 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 oh. They're done work. Okay. You are actually. You know oh, what? Man. Here, let me take a closer look at you. All right. Actually, we can look at both of them. Oh my goodness! I should just do do this. Okay. Baldwin is doing extraction work, of which she has a three, but she can also do farming, and she can do fishing or like uh like a you know that kind of activity. 
Baldwina, on the other hand, really is a diplomat and a crafter. So she's pretty well crafting only. So Baldwina is pretty flexible. Okay, that's what I want to know. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. I need to get water. All right, let's go to Borovo and see what we're dealing with. It, it's close. It's super close, and uh, and I think that it's kind of a, it'll give us a little idea. If we, I want to know right now if I need to just just uh, just go out to just go to Hornica. We we need to go to Hornica eventually, anyways. Um, so we might as well plan a trip out there. The only problem with Hornica is that there's a lot of wolves on the way to Hornica. <laughs> it's a, it's not a great neighborhood. Not a great neighborhood at all. Okay. Ooh, I got, wow, what's with my frames per second? Holy moly. It's kind of unusual. Is it the, is it the snow? You know what, in the meantime, I am gonna have some carrots. I'm a little hungry. Two frames per second. Apparently, eating carrots uh, improves your frames per second. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's not true. But um, uh, I like that story. And uh, I think that we're just going to have to go with it. Uh, what uh, The only thing I do know is I didn't really like anybody at Gostovia. Uh, they did not impress me. And yeah. So... Mostly the FPS is probably... It has to do with shadows. That's one of the hardest things on a computer is shadow... Uh, like in graphics is shadows. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, you are... Rudolfina is... Now, she's a craftsperson. So is Coroman. And Coroman is, is not a recruit, recruitable. Um, Inga is a salesperson. Okay, so we've got uh, Nawoja and um, Rudolfina. Now, Rudolfina is a, a snob. And uh, Norwoja isn't. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's like if, I think they've got the plague. How about you, Ida? Oh, that's Ida. How do I know that she's? See, she's she's wearing furs, right? She's she's uh, she's a snappy dresser. So let's take a look. She is. Yep, crafts and diplomacy. Oh, she can do farming. And what about you? Three one two 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 two. One uh, one one three two one two. You are generally just a little bit better, aren't you, there, uh, Nawoja? Nawoya? Nawoja. Okay, I need to get some stamina back. Hmm. She can do extraction, and she can do. She can do extraction. I need extraction. Extraction is always useful. How All right. Can I help you? Uh, no, we're not going to do it yet. We're not going to do it yet. But I, let's do some. Who are you? Let's uh, let's just let's let's find out a little bit about her first. I think we're going to recruit her, but let's find out. Um, let's see. What's on your mind? Uh, first you're born, then you grow up, and then you learn how to work. You harvest the fields, you hunt the prey, crops regrow, animals breed. Okay, we're familiar. She is very much a Baldwina. How's your day going? The sooner the season ends, the better my hands are freezing, and I can't con concentrate on my work. Hopefully I recover when spring comes. This is all very, very familiar. Tell me about your skills. Uh, I fancy simple hard work since it gets my blood, blood flowing and my muscles pumping. I can even work with my bare hands if needed. And does anything give you a hard time? Um, I don't like hunting. So there you go. So this is, she's very much a kind of a Baldwinish, Baldwina-like uh, individual. She's, of course, she's 30, so she's not a potential suitor, but, or you know what I mean, um, potential mate. Um, but she's not bad, you know? I think, I think... Have a good day. I think we can, I'm going to recruit her. Yeah, I mean, we can, we, she's a, she's a level three in extraction. And but and and she's she's capable in other things too. She's threes, and then basically a one, and all the rest are twos. So she can do other things in a pinch, but she's definitely uh, not a, not bad otherwise. And everybody else here is except for Rudolfina here, is just uh, basically a villager that I can't recruit. And Rudolfina, 
I mean... Oh, do I want to talk to her? Um... I think I'm going to hold off on her. I, I mean, she is a three, but she's got a lot of ones. She's got a lot of ones. She's not as flexible. She pretty well would be a farmer, but... You know what? No, let's, let's find out about her. Let's find out. Small talk. What's on your mind? Uh, life in the valley is never-ending story of labor and craft. If you're hardworking and meticulous, you'll always stay occupied here. But don't worry, you'll get accustomed to it eventually. All right. How's your day going? The sooner this season ends, the better. My hands are freezing. All right, so we've, we've, we've heard that one before. Uh, tell me about your skills. I don't mind getting my hands dirty, my back getting sweaty. Farming is a complex challenge uh, and a job, but also very rewarding. Okay, so she is a farmer. Why is she wearing furs? Maybe I'm just wrong about that. It's something that I thought I'd noticed, but maybe I'm just completely wrong about. Does anything give you a hard time? Traversing forest riverbanks looking for reasons. So she's not a forager. She is literally, she's a farmer. Okay. All right. Which, you know what? Uh, farewell. Have a good day. You too. Uh, that three in farming makes sense. So we've got a farmer. And we've got a uh, resource extractor here. All right, I think this is a good place to stop. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out. Um, mostly, Most likely, we're going to build either one or two houses. And uh, I don't know. I have to think about where I'm going to go. Could go. We've already gone up to the Ranicas once. I don't really... Uh, I, I mean, we should probably go up to Hornica at some point. It's such a long trek, though. It really is. I, I, I was thinking, you know, you go up there when you need a horse. And there's Jezerica, too. You know what? I think I'm just going to go for progress. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to build a couple of houses and I'm going to recruit a couple new ladies. Yep, I think that's the plan. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.